Hello everyone, this is Love Queen Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for the collective. This is the daily reading for today. Today is Wednesday, October, um, hmm, October the 9th. So, um, keep in mind that the reading, it may or may not resonate with you. Some parts of the reading might resonate, other parts of the reading might not. As well, keep in mind that time it is fluid. So this reading can resonate today. It can resonate later on down the line in time after today. Or well, this present reading could be past energy for you. If this present reading is past energy for you, then there might be answers or closure for you in this present reading that pertains to your past situation or circumstance. So... Um, so I did get messages during the pre-shuffle and um collective you could be getting y'all could be in a seven of wands energy um collective your energy is love so somebody could be um falsely accusing you of like your intentions or somebody saying you don't love someone that you love or somebody saying you don't love yourself you don't have self-love when you do um but y'all could be in a seven of wands energy uh y'all could be a fire sign dealing with a fire sign or y'all have significant fire placement leo Aries, sagittarius kids soon will show you whom to trust um somebody could also be passing away for um assumptions because they were assuming or collective somebody's going to realize that um they don't know what they thought they knew so something has to be revealed to someone something has to be revealed to someone because they don't know what they thought they knew about you or your situation so collective uh, you, yeah Collective, for some of you guys, your ancestors is going to prove a point today that needed to be proven. Some type of point about you or somebody else. Collective, abundance is your right. And don't worry. Y'all angels and ancestors could be handling something. And for some of you guys, uh, somebody might be passing away. Well, Collective, I heard somebody was always curious about you. Somebody was always curious about you. Um, collective, somebody could be saying um, you're a fire sign, but they got your uh, sun sign wrong. So collective, all somebody know is that you're a fire sign, but they was making assumptions. So collective, if you were Sagittarius, somebody was saying you were Aries or something. Somebody was making assumptions, and they might make a, you know, a ass out of themselves from assuming. Or somebody was saying that you're upset about something that you're not upset about. Or somebody could have been trying to say you're crazy, and you're not crazy or something. So, for some of you guys, somebody, um... Someone could have been trying to, someone was saying that abundance is not your right, or someone was trying to say what you deserve and what you don't deserve. Somebody could have also, um, this could be like mistaken identity. So collective, somebody could have caused you an injustice because uh, they had your sun sign wrong, or they assumed something about you. Somebody was assuming. Y'all might also find out who this person is that had it out for you or that didn't like you or something like that. So y'all might also find something out too. For some of y'all, y'all know who this person is and you could be worried about this person getting one up over you, but they're not. And you are stronger than you know. I heard do what you got to do or just be patient. 
So either do what you got to do, take action, or be patient. Because abundance is your right. Somebody could be being a drama king or a drama queen. Um, it could have been a fire sign. Um, collective, somebody could have just, um, this could be false identity. So, some, it could have been a fire sign that was being a drama king or a drama queen. And collective, you could be a fire sign too, but it wasn't you. So, somebody could have got a reading and the reader could have said, oh, a fire sign did it. And collective, all this person knows is that you a fire sign. So, they just assumed it was you. So, somebody could be trying to figure out who the drama king or who the drama queen is. Like, who said what, who did what. And somebody was falsely accusing you. And they might find out that it wasn't you. Or, um, collective, uh, the reader could have said, a fire sign did it. And the person said, which fire sign? And the, the reader said, a Sagittarius. And it's like, collective, you a Sagittarius. And the, the person that actually did it, this actual drama queen or drama king could be a Sagittarius. But it wasn't you. Even though you're a Sagittarius, it wasn't you who did something or said something. So. Yeah. I also heard if this person missed... If this person lied on you, they lied on your ancestor. Or y'all ancestor could have caught somebody doing something. So y'all ancestor could have caught somebody. Or your ancestor didn't like something that somebody did to you. So somebody could have been saying you're, you're angry and you're not angry. Somebody could have been accusing you of being crazy. Or somebody was getting your sun sign wrong or something like that. So, um, yeah. Y'all might also be finding out who your fake friend is. <laughs> Somebody you thought agreed with you could be, um, this person don't agree with you or something. So, those are the messages that I got during the pre-shuffle. Somebody could also be uh, GPS tracking y'all because of false accusations or false identity or something. Misidentification or something like that. Alright, so at the bottom of this deck, we have Earth Angel. So collective, I'm going to take one from the bottom and the top. So y'all could be an Earth Angel and this, then we got at the bottom whatever. So something could be going on with uh, the sacral chakra and the solar plexus. Earth Angel, whatever. So, collective, if y'all are Earth Angel, you might say whatever. Um, if someone was, uh, if, if somebody was bringing up false accusations against y'all, but this person could have been going to an Earth Angel, bringing up false accusations, the Earth Angel might say whatever. So, the Earth Angel might say, so what? That's because somebody don't know what they're talking about. So, a drama king or a drama queen is making a big deal about something that's not a big deal. So, a drama king or a drama queen might go to an earth angel gossiping about you or falsely accusing you. And this earth angel going to say, so what? Because something not really that serious. So, y'all could be an earth angel or an earth angel might defend you or protect you today or something like that. Or y'all defending or protecting somebody else. It's like somebody going to say whatever, so, or something. Because something not that serious. Yeah. Somebody definitely being dr a drama king, a drama queen today.
something could also be going on with an STD. <laughs> Somebody probably have a guilty conscience. <coughs> a drama king or a drama queen could be finding out could be finding out they got an STD. <laughs> and um collective, this person might assume that you gave it to them or that they gave it to you. Or somebody else. So something going on with the STD. All right. So let me get an oracle. Y'all could also be being separated from this drama. Collective, it could be an earth angel that's protecting you. From some some a drama king or a drama queen. I heard there's earth angels everywhere. <laughs> so I'ma give y'all an example. Collective, say like um this earth angel is somebody you don't know. Um this earth angel could be like your ex's or your competitor in love's friend. And collective, your ex or your competitor in love could be um, being dramatic. And your competitor or your ex's friend, which is an earth angel, might tell this person, calm down. You can't assume. Or this person going to say whatever. That don't even make no sense. <laughs> So it's like collective, you probably don't even know this person, but because they're earth angel, they're like um, making someone leave you alone or somebody's friend is telling them you're exaggerating or you got to get the facts. You can't just assume or something like that. So an earth angel is like kind of like rebuking somebody today or collective, you're doing this. But um, these two energies is separated. So collective, you're in, you're being separated or you're in separation from a drama king or a drama queen. And you probably don't even know what's going on. Or collective, it's more going on behind the scenes than you're aware of. Or something. Or y'all could be the earth angel and you don't care. And you like, whatever. Because maybe you know you're innocent or you know somebody else innocent or something. So, um... Yeah. Spirit, give me a oracle. So, nature communication number 37. Flower energies, fairy energies, element, elemental messengers. So, that's number 37, number 73, the number 10, the number 1. Um, March the 7th, July the 3rd could be significant. Collective, use your time well. Some of y'all might have to ignore someone. And that's you using your time well. Like, ignore drama. Or something like that. So, synchronicities could also be significant today. Y'all could be getting some type of nature communication. Um, I'm also picking up. Um, don't underestimate yourself. Because with this energy, this card, this is talking about um, how humans could be in comparison to like nature. Like, don't underestimate yourself. Don't water yourself down. So, this is like somebody saying, you look as pretty as a flower, or you're like a flower, or something like that. So, don't underestimate yourself. Don't water yourself down. Or you, today, you're symbolizing, or something concerning nature. Like you resemble something concerning nature. Or you can relate to nature. Or y'all might get some type of um, 
synchronicity from nature, some type of communication with nature. Um, so, um, some of you guys, I'm hearing, leave something the way it is, is right. Like, leave something alone, is where it's supposed to be, because it's supposed to be there. Or, like, don't be in a rush, or take a second look. Or think before you um, make changes or think before you take action. Um, because something is where it's supposed to be. You didn't get it wrong. Like, something is where it's supposed to be at. So somebody could be going through an awakening. Collective, y'all could be going through an awakening. It, it could be a minor or major awakening. But it's like, get a hold of yourself before you um, misjudge something. Like, look again. Because something is correct the way it is. So um, let me give an example. Collective, say like somebody wake up in the morning. And um, sometimes when you first awaken, you're not at your best. So you could be misperceiving something. So say like y'all look at the clock when you first wake up. And you say, the time is wrong. I got to fix my clock because the time wrong. But it's like upon you awakening, you're fully woke. It's like you're going to realize nothing is wrong with the time. Nothing is wrong with, the, with your clock. The clock is right. You could have just initially perceived something wrong upon you awakening because you were still like drowsy or something. So I heard, wake up. Because <laughs> everything is the way it's supposed to be or everything is in its rightful place. So y'all could be thinking something is misplaced and it's not. Like, I'm hearing leave it there. Like, just leave something there the way it is. Because it's supposed to be there. All right, Spirit, give me another oracle. So I heard seconds matter. I heard what you do in seconds matter. So whether you take action or whether you be patient, what happened within seconds matter or something like that. And it still don't, it don't have to be a big deal. A loyal guardian, a magical protector is there for you, yeah. So some of y'all, somebody could be doing spell work on you. And they, they want you to make a mistake. Collective, somebody could be doing, um, somebody wants y'all to make a mistake or mess up. So they were doing spell work on you. That's why I heard be patient. So somebody that was making mistakes, collective, uh, maybe you don't make mistakes or you wasn't making as many mistakes as this person. And somebody could be doing something to you so you could be like them. Or somebody lied on you and they're trying to fix your energy to make their lie appear true. Somebody doing something. Somebody could be doing spell work on y'all. Somebody want to mess up your energy or something. Or make it look like you crazy or something. Because they was telling people you're crazy. Or something going on with mistakes or something. So this could be a co-worker or something. Somebody could be competing with you over a promotion at work. And somebody could be doing spell work on you. They want you to, like, mess up at work or make mistakes at work or something. So they could have went off and did spell work on you to cause you confusion or something. So, collective, I heard you stand out. And because you stand out, 
your absence is going to stand out as well. So if this is something concerning work, collective, say like somebody did spell work on you and this person wanted you removed and you end up leaving, somebody going to say, where is the collective? Where the collective at? So it's like, I, I'm hearing you're obvious or you stand out or something about you is noticeable. And because you are you stand out, somebody wanted you removed. Like a flower, like a tree. It's like, if somebody have a tree, a big tree planted in a yard, and then the person come home and the tree gone, that's obvious. Like, things, something is obvious. So, collective, I'm hearing, if somebody calls you an injustice, don't worry, because the injustice is obvious. And you're going to get karmic justice because the injustice is obvious like something like that so you guys are going to get some type of karmic justice because the injustice is obvious so don't worry be patient so say like a co-worker doing spell work on y'all and they want you to make mistakes so you can get disqualified for the promotion. And collective, say like the spell work working. It's like collective, your boss or your co-workers is so used to you being thorough that if you start making mistakes, your boss might say to you, what's wrong with you? What's going on with you? Take time off, leave work, and you know, come back tomorrow. Like something like that. So something that somebody's doing or did to you is going to backfire or it's going to have an adverse effect. Y'all ancestors could be upset at somebody as well. So collective, that's nature communication. So you could be planted somewhere. You could be planted somewhere. Or you have a firm, solid foundation like nature. Um, a tree. Um, a flower. Something that's going to be noticeable if it's, if it's uprooted. So, collective, if you get uprooted, it's going to be noticeable. Because your hater wanted you uprooted. Or something. Somebody's doing. So, collective, don't worry. A magical protector is there for you. Yeah. I heard what your ancestors know on the 5D is going to be manifested on the 3D. So, collective, if your ancestors know somebody lying on you, they're going to make sure and see to it that somebody get exposed or this person get karma. Because the magical protector is there for you. So, the number is 33. The number 6, March the 3rd could be significant. So, March the 3rd to March the 7th could be significant. This could be a previous March or March coming up. March the 3rd to the March the 7th. So, live your bliss. You guys are def definitely going to get some type of victory and success. Or someone's trying to um, take this victory and success from you. Feel joy in all you do. So, Spirit, give me a... Um... Give me a message from the guys to the collective today. Forgive yourself. Yeah. Collective, forgive yourself. Some of y'all um, could have trusted someone that you shouldn't have trusted. So, forgive yourself. Live your bliss. Express your feelings. Yeah. Everyone has value. Yeah. Somebody thought that you guys didn't have value. And somebody thought you didn't belong somewhere. So they was trying to uproot you or get you removed or um, telling lies on you or something or... Uh, Somebody could have been falsely accusing you because of their assumptions. 
or somebody lied on you and they was trying to make they was somebody was trying to fix it to make it look like what they said about you wasn't a lie somebody was doing something So, collective, forgive yourself, live your bliss, and express your feelings. Um, for some of you guys, y'all could have made a mistake in the past, and somebody didn't want you. To, somebody didn't want you to be forgiven. But so, collective, forgive yourself. If someone don't want to forgive you, you forgive yourself. And I heard that's all that matters. Because at this point, if this person don't want to forgive you about something you did in the past, then you forgive yourself. Somebody didn't want you to be forgiven. Or somebody keep bringing up your past. I heard, um, collective, you could have offended someone in the past. And they keep wanting, they, somebody keeps wanting to give you karma. And I heard that's enough. That's enough. So, collective, forgive yourself, live your bliss, and express your feelings. Because y'all could have made a mistake or something in the past. And somebody wants you to keep repeating the karmic cycle or something. Or somebody want to be a uh, judge, jury, God in your life. And keep causing you, keep giving you karma or something. Or somebody wanted to put you in the dirt. Or um, somebody could have threw dirt or did you dirty or something dirty or something. So I heard soil. I heard soil. Something to do with nature. So soil, dirt is a part of nature. Trees, flowers is a part of nature. So y'all could be like a diamond in the rough of some sort. Or something like that. Or somebody wanted to bury you or something like that. I also heard the punishment got to fit the crime. The punishment got to fit the crime. All right, so give me a message. Collective, y'all could be a Libra dealing with a Libra or got Libra placement. Or y'all could be married. Or some of y'all probably work for the justice system. What could be legalities going on? Well, y'all spouse or something could have abandoned you or something. All right, Spirit, give me a message. Power. Somebody probably wanted power over you. Released. Somebody's power over you is being released. Well, somebody has to release you. Or collective release, release your power. Well, this power could have been spell work or dark magic. <clears throat> or something's going on with nature. This power, it could be natural. Some type of power. Something could be going on with the weather. Thundering, lightning. And some type of release is happening. So some of you guys could be like, um, like I said, 
say like you guys are worried or you're emotional. It's like collective. You you relate to nature. So this could be a storm. Um, or you could be unconsolable or you're upset or you're worried. So it's like you could be similar. It's similar to like a storm figuratively. So y'all could be releasing some type of power. It could be your tears. You could be crying. But there's power in your tears. Or your vulnerabilities. Or something like that. And then patience here. Yep. So release and be patient. Some of y'all feel powerless or you feel hopeless. But collective spirit wants you to be patient. If you got to cry, cry. But don't do something that's going to get you in trouble. Or just be patient. You're going to get karmic justice. Or your ancestors know you're crying. And they're going to like cause a storm in somebody else's life. Because your ancestors know you're crying. And you're not supposed to be crying. Somebody did something to you. So, collective, there's power in your tears. So, release them. Maybe your ancestors don't like to see you cry. So, cry. Since somebody wanted to make you cry, cry. But, collective, there's a consequence to your tears. Because you're not supposed to be crying. So, cry and be patient. <coughs> Somebody probably wants you to fight them. Collective, don't fight this person. Cry. If you got to cry, cry and be patient. Somebody wants you to go crazy, lose your mind. Don't do all that. If you got to cry, cry and be patient. Y'all could be dealing with a copycat. This power is going to release patience. So, collective, whether this power is you crying, or this could be nature, a storm, whatever this is, this power is going to release patience. I heard this power is not going to release your worst fears. This power is not going to release another injustice. This power is going to release patience. Or be patient about some power being released. Collective, somebody else could be crying. And you want somebody to stop crying or something. But be patient with somebody. Because somebody's releasing their power. Or this is nature. And collective, be patient with nature. Or collective, for some of y'all, I heard somebody could have been doing a death ritual on you. And you waking up this morning, that's power. So be patient with yourself. So that's probably why y'all could have been misunderstanding something when y'all first woke up. Because somebody wanted you to pass away. And you were supposed to. But collective power, some type of power is the reason why you woke up this morning. So be patient with yourself. Upon you waking up or something. Or upon you finding something out. So this is literally physically waking up. Or you are awakening to like. Who your enemy is. What somebody did to you. What somebody's intentions for you are. You could just be waking up to something. And somebody didn't want you to know something. Or somebody didn't want you to wake up this morning. And collective. It could have been somebody you trusted. So forgive yourself or collective. You could have offended someone in the past and this person don't want to forgive you. And they could have been trying to do a death ritual over you. 
and collective, this person could be right to like try to get revenge, but no. This person probably you probably did offend this person or did something to this person. So collective, forgive yourself. And it could have been something that could have happened a long time ago. It could have been something that happened a long time ago. Somebody don't want to forgive you, collective, but forgive yourself. Somebody didn't want you to know that they're offended by you. Somebody didn't want you to know they're your secret enemy. And somebody could have been trying to get you. So, collective, be patient with yourself. If you're making mistakes today, if you're being clumsy. Because somebody didn't want you to know something. Or somebody's spell could be breaking. And y'all probably didn't know y'all was under a spell. So it's, the spell could be breaking. So collective, be patient with yourself. Because some type of power is being released. And it could be dark power or um, demonic power or something like that. Somebody could have had you under a spell or something. So, be patient with yourself, collective. Or oh, y'all in y'all feelings about something? It say, cast away out of your debt feeling abandoned. Well, collective, you crying and you don't know why you crying? Collective, for some of you guys, you're crying intuitively. And your ancestors want you to cry. Because that's that's that that's that's what your ancestors wanted or needed to do what they had to do. So y'all could be crying and y'all don't know why. And collective, be patient and you're gonna find out. Well, you guys are reacting to something intuitively. Y'all could be reacting to something intuitively. If y'all married, y'all spouse could be betraying you. Or your spouse could be gossiping about you to the third party. And maybe the third party doing dark magic on you. It's like somebody could have abandoned you. And could be possibly putting you in some type of danger. Y'all could be married and y'all spouse on me or something like that. So if y'all got to cry, cry. All right. So let me put three positive changes y'all can expect from between now and the next 24 hours. Or collective, I heard someone is trying to seal your fate. And you could be picking it up intuitively. And that could be why you're crying. Someone could be trying to seal your fate. And it's like this person could be speaking. This person could be talking to someone. And collective, just because you're not there, you could be picking it up intuitively. Somebody could be trying to seal your fate. Or collective, it could be an earth angel that's a practitioner. And somebody could be trying to go to a practitioner, but this practitioner or earth angel. And um, collective, don't worry about it because this practitioner is not going to do the spell work that this person wants. So it's like you're picking up the vibration that somebody want to cause you harm. But this practitioner going to say, whatever, I ain't doing it. Or something like that. So, Collective, you could be feeling abandoned because somebody wants you abandoned or somebody's trying to get you abandoned or somebody's trying to seal somebody's fate. 
or something. All right, Spirit, give me three positive changes the collective can expect. <laughs> but yeah, be true to you. Yeah. Okay. So y'all breaking away from something. And somebody probably want to cause you harm because you're breaking away. So, collective, between now and the next 24 hours, you might express your feelings. You're going to be true to you. And y'all might express yourself. For some of y'all, you're the earth angel. And y'all didn't agree with someone. And y'all could be getting tired of somebody. And you're going to say, I don't care, whatever. You care about that. I don't. So, collective, you going to be true to you. So, y'all could have been... Y'all could have been... um not being true to yourself because this could be your spouse so you wasn't being true to you to keep the peace between you and your spouse but y'all could be an earth angel and you might say whatever i don't care or something so between now and the next 24 hours you're going to be true to you or somebody else want to be true to you finances yeah y'all could have been dealing with a competitor this could be in career this could be at work or well, some of y'all dealing with a spouse or something and somebody probably wanted to cause you an injustice for financial purposes or well, y'all dealing with a competitor or something at work or career because somebody felt as though you didn't deserve abundance or something or you don't deserve a raise or you don't deserve more hours or something. Somebody was trying to keep you from an abundance. Or they felt as though you don't deserve abundance or something. Or you don't deserve to work at a particular job or something. Somebody felt that. That's how somebody else felt about you. Give me one more spirit. Positive changes. Forgiveness, yeah. So collective, you might forgive yourself when you realize who don't like you, why they don't like you. What they wanted to stagnate in your life. Well, collective, this person that should have forgiven you in the past, they might forgive you between between now and the next 48, 24 hours. It could be 48 hours, too. I hope don't nobody pass away. And you are stronger than you know. So, collective, I heard you're going to, you're bearing something on your back. And because it's on your back, you can carry it. So, collective, somebody could have been doing a death ritual on you and it's going to backfire on them. Something might backfire. And something might happen to this person instead of happening to you. I heard you're bearing something on your back. And because it's on your back, you can carry it. Or you was carrying it. Or something like that. Well, somebody did something behind your back. And because they did it behind your back, it was like bearable. Or something. I heard it was bearable because it was done behind your back or they, they did, it was on your back or something like that. Or somebody got your back or something. So that's, that's positive changes y'all can expect between now and the next 24 hours. For some of y'all, 48 hours. And I hope don't nobody pass away. Somebody wants somebody to pass away. Unjustly, though. So collective, say like you broke up with somebody or you quit this job 20 years ago. Collective, you could have you were collective, you could have been wrong. Whatever this is, the way you broke up with someone, the way you divorced someone, the way you left this job, <clears throat> whatever you did in the past, it it could it was wrong or it could have been wrong. Collective 
somebody was trying to cause you harm or cause you an injustice or it felt as though you was worthless because of something you did in the past. I heard this person had time to do their shadow work and forgive you. But instead of this person doing their shadow work and trying to forgive you, this person was seeking revenge. This person was trying to get revenge instead of doing their shadow work. And something literally could have happened 20 years ago. I heard 20 years intuitively. So I don't know what y'all did 20 years ago. So, collective, I don't know if you could have been a business owner 20 years ago. And you could have, like, abruptly uh, shut down your business. Uh, or you divorced somebody or you broke up with somebody. Somebody don't like the way you did something. Or, collective, somebody think you an idiot because you could have did something foolish with your finances 20 years ago. Or something. For, some, for somebody, something happened 20 years ago. And instead of this person doing their shadow work, because collective, I'm pretty sure you did yours. Instead of this person doing their shadow work, they were trying to get revenge. So somebody out here trying to judge you, but they can't because they ain't do a lick of shadow work. Or something like that. Alright, so where that picture at? Um something happened twenty years ago. And um I don't know if somebody could have passed away twenty years ago. Or collective you could have prophesied something twenty years ago. Somebody digging up the past or something. Or somebody could have buried like a cat or something on their property. Collective, somebody could be accusing you of killing an animal. And they're trying to prove it. <laughs> or somebody trying to um, prove that uh, you're a fake spiritualist. Collective, y'all could have stopped doing something. And somebody could be trying to prove that you, was never a, you were never something that you are because... You could have stopped doing something. Or you pulled back your energy. But. Or somebody trying to dig something up. That's buried or something. Or collective. You could have prophesied something. And somebody's trying to prove you're crazy. Because of something you could have prophesied or something. Or somebody's trying to say you said something or you did something because you're crazy or they got your sun sign wrong or something. Somebody doing. Um, some of y'all could have buried a pet or something. Or collective, you could be it's something that you are. It could be an earth angel, but y'all could have like pulled back your energy or stopped doing something or you stopped working somewhere. And somebody's trying to say it's because you're guilty of something or you never was what you are. So collective, say like you were Earth Angel and you could have went through something in the past and you said, you know what, I'm going to mind my business from now. I'm not helping nobody. I'm going to mind my business. And collective, somebody could be trying to prove that you're not really an Earth Angel because you stopped working or something like that. Or somebody could have buried something like a cat or a pet or something. And collective, whatever this thing is that you bury, like on your property or something, that's the very thing that's going to get this person hurt. Because somebody's trying to dig something up. That's what's going to get this person hurt or something like that. Or that's why this person getting karma. Or something. Somebody could have said you killed an animal or something, and you didn't, or something like that. Oh, 
or collective. <laughs> this person that's falsely accusing you could have did something. Somebody that's falsely accusing y'all could have did something. Or if this person is projecting, it's like this person's past is not going to allow this person to get away with something. So, collective, say like you ran over a cat, whether you did it on purpose or accident. This person in secret could have killed a cat or something and buried it somewhere or whatever. It's like collective, somebody trying to cause you harm because you did something in the present. Say like, I'm going to give this one example. Say like, collective... This person in the past caused an injustice to their pet. They could have killed their own pet. But collective, something going on with you and a pet in the present. And somebody's past, this person's past, or it's like this pet saying, you ain't doing nothing to the collective curse. Remember when you, when you buried me, you buried me or something like that. It's like somebody, something, it's like, yeah, it's like this person trying to say you crazy. Collective, you could have did something to a pet by accident. And this person 20 years ago did something to a pet on purpose. And this cat is like, oh, uh-uh, you ain't doing nothing to the collective. Because you, you buried me, you killed me on purpose or something like that. Or collective, something's going on with you. You could have had a pet 20 years ago. And your pet is like, uh-uh, you leave, you leave the collective alone. Because the collective was a good pet owner to me. Or something. Something or someone is not going to let somebody, like, get their way with you. Because this person wrong or something like that. Somebody want to have their way with you. And this person could have secrets or something like that. Yeah, someone may be getting arrested. Yeah, somebody lying. So it could be some legalities going on. Somebody could have... Somebody could have bore false witness or somebody lying in court. <laughs> or this could be y'all conscious. It's like somebody know they lying. This person know they lying. They're conscious. This person know they lying. Or somebody literally in court. And they lying or somebody bore false witness or something. And somebody could be getting karma or something like that. Collective, somebody could be GPS tracking y'all too. And it could be illegally. Somebody GPS tracking y'all. All right, Spirit, what's going on with the collective today? Some of you guys, y'all don't have all the information about what you're doing. Or you don't have all the information about something you're picking up intuitively. That's why the cards say be patient. So like I said, some of y'all could be crying and you don't know why. But it's for a reason. But somebody could have did something 20 years ago or somebody could have been doing something for you, to you for 20 years and you didn't know or collective the very person that's trying to accuse you it's like you could have did something by accident and this person did this did something too in the past but they did it on purpose or something like that
Um. Yeah. Some of y'all could be doing doing jury duty. Some of y'all could somebody could be doing jury duty. And collective, be patient um, with your vote. Be patient about something or be your true self or don't follow the crowd um, with your fellow peers, whoever y'all doing jury duty with. Collective, express your feelings, speak your truth. And whatever your vote is, let it come, let it be true or how you really feel about something. So this could be jury duty too. And y'all could be an earth angel. And somebody's probably not going to like your point of view in something. But collective, even if um, you, your opinion is, what well, I don't know how jury duty work, but even if others don't agree with you, you speak your truth and let your vote be whatever your vote is from a place of truth or something like that. So something could be going on with jury duty. Yeah. Collective, like you guys are Earth Angel. Or it's an earth angel in, in your energy about your situation. It's an earth angel around. That's going to make sure that you get treated fairly. Or you're going to make sure somebody else get treated fairly or something like that. So don't worry. Because it's an earth angel around. Well, collective, somebody was trying to push you. Somebody was trying to push you or force you to cross over. But collective, in the past, or maybe today, you it's like when you crossed over, you could have had a conversation with your angels or something. And that's why you woke up this morning. Because somebody could have tried to force you. Somebody could have did a death for you on y'all. And forced you to cross over. Or something like that. But collective, somebody don't know that you have angels or you're protected. So I heard this is like collective. <laughs> Say like somebody was trying to do a death ritual. That's just like telling somebody to go home. <laughs> Or something like that. It's like collective. Somebody thought that they was going to make you. Maybe somebody was thinking they can put you in purgatory or um, something. Somebody had something wrong. Somebody had something wrong. Somebody was thinking they had control over something that they didn't. And it's like collective. When this pu person pushed you out. Your angels was there.
or something like that. So, collective, for some of you guys, to be fair, somebody wanted you hurt or deceased because you could have done something. But to be fair, because the angels knew something about this person that you offended, to be fair, the angels gave you a choice. So, collective, when you woke up this morning, it was right. Because this person got their way, you crossed over. That's what they wanted, that's what you did. But it's like when you got over there, you had a choice. This person got what they wanted. So, yeah, that's why I asked your angels is here too. It's like, collective, somebody think they all let or somebody... Um, something, it's like somebody don't want to forgive you, um, like they God or something. This person not God. You collective, you could have offended this person. I'm pretty sure this person have not walked through life without offending anyone. I'm pretty sure of that. It's like somebody wanted you in purgatory or something like that. <laughs> Mm -mm. Uh-uh. All right, Spirit, what's going on with the collective? Collect I heard somebody keeps trying to get their way. And I heard this person already got their way. So, collective, somebody could have did a death ritual on you when you crossed over. But when you got over there, your angels could have, you know, could have grounded you or whatever what happened when you got over there. So, this person got their way, but this person' power is limited because they human just like you. This person human just like you. I don't know who this person think they is. Or this person mad because um, you woke up this morning or something? And um, what I want to say too, I know some people don't like, or some people say, oh, leave the past in the past. But see, when you know certain things and you have certain gifts, Sometimes you have to bring up the past to save lives. Because people be trying to be slick. People be trying to be slick. And collective, y'all could be an earth angel. Sometimes you have to bring up the past. And something could have happened 20 years ago. So the six of cups. So this is something, this is something about y'all past or um, something that happened in the past. Or y'all could be a water sign. We got the chariot. So y'all could be a cancer or something going on with a cancer. Or something happened with a car. Or somebody could be a cop. Or collective, somebody wanted to go to battle with you. Because of something that happened in the past. Or someone from your past wanted to go to war with you. The chariot could be war. Or somebody wanted to take a advantage of you or dominate you. 
because of somebody could have been trying to take advantage of your innocence or collective you could have been innocent to the fact that somebody um was still holding a grudge against you or something so this i heard innocence oops Well, collective, because you're innocent or you were innocent, you're going to overcome something. So y'all could be the chariot too because you were innocent. Now, it's a difference between somebody doing something in the past and they did a shadow work versus somebody doing something in the past and they did no shadow work and trying to condemn somebody in the present about something that they did in the past, but they keeping it a secret. Or something like that. Or if this person did something in the past and they keeping it a secret, this person need to shut their mouth about something you did in the present. They need to be quiet. Somebody need to be quiet. So something somebody did in the past, it could be a secret. Or something like that. And somebody trying to condemn you. Or it's like collective. You offended this person. This person offended you too. But it's like you don't know this person offended you. But it's like maybe people know you offended this person. But it's like people don't. It's like you probably don't even know what this person did to you. So collective say like you marry and something happened in the marriage it's like collective you could have been cheating and got caught but your spouse was cheating on you too they just didn't get caught and somebody somebody coming for your head or somebody want justice but it's like hello you was cheating too you just didn't get caught or something somebody's doing something like that So something could definitely be going on with the 5D. Yeah, the Queen of Wands. So something could be going on with a twin, the twin flame connection. <clears throat> or collective, something could be going on with your parents. Something could be going on with your parents. So collective, um, you in the past, you could have been a child. And one of your parents' third party could have offended you. That queen of wands. That queen of wands could be the other man, the other woman. Or that queen of wands do spell work or something. So, something going on with you, with you guys and y'all love life. This could be a twin flame connection. Or collective, something happened in your childhood or something. Or collective, your parent or something could have chose you over, could have chose the third party over you. Or your twin chose the third party over you. Or somebody went to a practitioner or something. Like in the past and you could have been innocent or something. Or somebody traveling to that Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands could be getting arrested. Somebody could be traveling to that Queen of Wands. That Queen of Wands could have a warrant. That Queen of Wands could have did something to a child or did something to somebody in, in the past. Or offended you in the past or something. That Queen of Wands. Clarify, uh... Or collective, this Queen of Wands did something was trying to blame it on you. Or something like that. Or that Queen of Wands was doing reverse psychology or something. Or that Queen of Wands could have tried to take your identity. That Queen of Wands could have tried to take your identity. 
or the queen of wands was trying to give you their identity because y'all could be fire signs or something and that queen of wands was telling people your birthday is their birthday or something this birthday cake or the queen of wands took your birthday and was telling people your birthday is their birthday or the Queen of Wands was saying you and them got the same birthday and y'all probably don't or something like that. Or y'all do, but it's like the Queen of Wands offended someone and it wasn't you or something. Clarify the Six of Cups. You had a Three of Wands. Collective, for some of you guys, this is about your twin. In the past, y'all could have been waiting and your twin went to the Queen of Wands instead of coming home. Or your twin chose the Queen of Wands over you in the past. And y'all could have been waiting. Or, collective for some of you guys, in the past, your twin wouldn't have intercourse with you. Because they had already had intercourse with the Queen of Wands. Or your twin didn't want to have intercourse with you. They were saving themselves for the Queen of Wands. So either way, y'all was waiting. Y'all was the Three of Wands. Y'all was waiting in the past. Or collective, your parents did this to you or something? So collective, that Queen of Wands could have lied on you when you were a child. Collective, um, something could have happened with a cat. That Queen of Wands could have killed something and said you did it and lied on you when you was a child. So somebody told a lie on y'all when y'all was a child. Or it's like your parent chose that Queen of Wands over you. Or your own twin did this. So, collective, for some of y'all, that Queen of Wands thought you was foolish, or you was childish, or you was naive. And that Queen of Wands, if y'all adults, this Queen of Wands was judging you, because you the Six of Cups, and you was coming off as innocent or naive, or like childlike. And that Queen of Wands thought they were so grown, and did something to y'all. Or collective, it's like your twin, they wouldn't have intercourse with you. They, your twin could have been kissing and hugging you, but they wouldn't have full intercourse with you because they they was sleeping with the Queen of Wands. Or your twin would not have intercourse with you because they was waiting for the... They, was, um, they made you wait because they wanted to have sex with that Queen of Wands or something. It could have been the Queen of Wands' birthday. So, your twin could have left you for the Queen of Wands because it was their birthday. Or it's the Queen of Wands birthday today. Somebody might get arrested on their birthday. Or somebody going to get a victory on their birthday. Or something like that. Or collective, you innocent to something. And somebody know what that Queen of Wands did to you. So y'all the Six of Cups. You could be innocent to something. Or collective you um, nostalgic. But you don't know that Queen of Wands is like your hater or your secret enemy or something. So it's like the chariot is like preventing you from like getting in contact with the Queen of Wands. Or the chariot is preventing the Queen of Wands from getting in contact with you. So y'all could have been waiting on the Queen of Wands or the Queen of Wands was waiting on y'all. Some of y'all, the Queen of Wands is waiting on you. Or y'all was waiting on the Queen of Wands or something. Or something. I also heard, collective, for some of you guys, y'all could have been arguing with the Queen of Wands in the past, and y'all was supposed to have a physical fight. So, 
this is not guns and stabbing. You and the Queen of Wands could have been arguing, and you told the Queen of Wands, let's fight. You know, let's fight. Come on. Collective, the Queen of Wands could be a practitioner, and that Queen of Wands was like, I'm not fighting you. It's like you was waiting on the Queen of Wands to do a physical battle, but the Queen of Wands did dark magic on you. That's what the Queen of Wands did. And that Queen of Wands getting karma. Because if that Queen of Wands didn't want to physically fight you, that Queen of Wands should have left you alone. That Queen of Wands didn't have to do a, a death ritual on you. So y'all could have been naive to the fact that that Queen of Wands is a practitioner. Y'all could have knew that that Queen of Wands was the other, other man or the other woman, but y'all didn't know that Queen of Wands was a practitioner. So that Queen of Wands could have been abusing their authority or their power or their abilities. Or collective, your family member could have offended that Queen of Wands when you were younger. And that Queen of Wands offended you. And you had nothing to do with that Queen of Wands getting offended. And that Queen of Wands could have took their anger out on you. So I heard like the casualties of war. Collective, that Queen of Wands could have offended you because of your nationality. So your country could have been at war with the Queen of Wands country. But y'all could have been a child or something like that. It's like you had nothing to do with, with this. Well, Collective, your father... Did something to that Queen of Wands. So, collective, say like in the past when you was a child, your father threatened the king, the Queen of Wands. Because your father could have been married to your mother. And the Queen of Wands is your father's third party. And it's like when it's like when the when when you got older and that Queen of Wands saw you because of what your father did, the Queen of Wands offended you. Or was trying to because of your father. That Queen of Wands didn't want to forgive something your father did to her. And it's like, collective, you didn't even know your father did this to the Queen of Wands. It's like, instead of the Queen of Wands offending you, that Queen of Wands should have offended your mother so that it could be equal. Or that Queen of Wands should have offended your father, not you. So it would be equal. Because you could have been younger than the Queen of Wands. That Queen of Wands was, a, was an adult. And collective, you could have been like six years old or something. Or that Queen of Wands could have found out that you was born. Your father was cheating on your mother with that Queen of Wands. And that Queen of Wands could have found out about you when you were six. And that Queen of Wands did a death threat you on you. Or something like that. Or put you in a jar or was stalking you all your life. Because it's something your father did. So, Collective, you probably don't even know, like, why the Queen of Wands don't like you, who the Queen of Wands is. Because it's something that happened between the Queen of Wands and your father or something. And that Queen of Wands was the other woman. Clarify the chariot. Yeah, the two of cups, y'all. Or collective, your parent did something when you were younger or something. Your parent could have went to the Queen of Wands to get a court cutting done. Maybe your parent didn't like the other parent and something went wrong in this court cutting or something like that. Your, um, your father could have went to a practitioner to do a court cutting when he was in a relationship with your mother, but your mother could have been pregnant with you, or you were six years old when your father did this. 
he could have went to that queen of wands because of a soulmate connection. So that could have been your father and your mother. And he could have um tried to do some spell work or something. Because he wanted to get away from your mother or something. Or your father was dating this practitioner. And maybe your father went to the Queen of Wands for one thing. But it's like the Queen of Wands did something else. It's like your father probably wanted a cord cutting from your mother. But it's like that Queen of Wands did something to you that your father did not tell her to do. Or something like that. Y'all was naive to something, whether in your childhood or in your adult life. Y'all was the six of cups. Y'all could have been naive to something. Or collective, you did not know that somebody did not like you. Or you didn't know who somebody was. Or who somebody was sleeping with or something. Clear by that queen of wands. So this could be your husband. It's like you didn't know who your husband or your wife's third party was or something like that what about that queen of wands or well, collective you a fire sign and the queen of wands is too and that queen of wands could have been telling people you the other woman when you the wife or you the practitioner when they're the practitioner or something like that and it's like collective you ain't know what was going on you was the six of cups Play by the Queen of Wands. Ooh. Yeah, somebody definitely a Leo. So it could be two Leos going at it. Or a collective. The Queen of Wands is a Leo. Your competitor could be a Leo and your twin a Leo too. Or a collective. Your twin in trouble. Or your twin getting karma. Or something going on with two Leos. Or something like that. And one of these Leo Leos could be a liar or something like that. Or y'all twin could be a Leo. The four wands with strength. Or somebody didn't know somebody was cheating with somebody or something. So y'all twin could be a Leo. The karmic could be a Leo too. Or the karmic is saying they're a Leo but they're not or something like that. Because the Queen of Wands is usually Leo too. And then strength coming out. Or somebody didn't want to tell somebody their birthday or their real birthday or something. So collective, that Queen of Wands could also be y'all twin. And y'all twin could be getting karma or something. Or your karmic twin is getting karma. So your karmic twin could be a Leo and your real twin could be a Leo too. And collective, you probably didn't know that your, the, your two lovers was fighting each other or something. You didn't know or something like that. Somebody could also be bisexual too. And collective, you didn't know or you was naive to something. So collective, your real twin could have been dating your false twin. And it's like somebody could be bisexual or something. And you didn't know. Well, collective, your false twin was trying to do harm to your real twin. Or you didn't know that your false twin and your real twin was like dating each other. Or something going on with a fire sign. Or collective, your twin. Collective, your twin could have been cheating on you. And somebody knows it. 
So, somebody could have been covering for somebody and might get in trouble for covering for someone. So, the police could have been traveling to the Queen of Wands. And collective, it's like your twin was at the Queen of Wands house when the police got to the Queen of Wands house. And the police could have been asking your twin when your birthday or who are you or who are you to the Queen of Wands and your twin wouldn't say nothing. And collective, you probably didn't know what was going on because you was at home waiting for your twin. But your twin was at that Queen of Wands house when, when, when the police got to the Queen of Wands. So, Collective, for some of y'all, that Queen of Wands could be saying, Collective, you didn't know that your twin was dating the Queen of Wands, or you did, but the Queen of Wands could be going around telling people that you the one who called the cops on them, and Collective, you didn't, because you didn't know. You was at home waiting. You was the Three of Wands. Or Collective, you was cheating on your twin, and your twin was cheating on you too. So you like, hell, I didn't know you got caught at the Queen of Wands house because I was doing something I wasn't supposed to do that day neither. I ain't calling cops on you, Queen of Wands, or something like that. So, collective, y'all could have been um, cheating too when your twin was cheating on you with the Queen of Wands. But it's like that Queen of Wands saying you called the cops and you didn't. Or collective, you didn't know about the Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands parents could have called the cops on that Queen of Wands. And that Queen of Wands, because they're messing around with your twin, the Queen of Wands telling people it was you. Or, for some of y'all, that Queen of Wands know you didn't call the cops on them. They're just lying because you're, the, you're their competitor. So that Queen of Wands know their parents called the cops on them. But they want to lie on you because you're the, their competitor. That Queen of Wands. That Queen of Wands know you didn't call the cops on them. The, the Queen of Wands parents did. Or the Queen of Wands other lover did. Collective, that Queen of Wands, yeah, something happened. Or that Queen of Wands was dating a cancer. Or that Queen of Wands was dating this cop. And had your twin at her house or, or his house or something like that. So, collective, it wasn't you. It could have been a cancer. Both of y'all could be water signs. Or, collective, you a fire sign with water placements. Or, you a water sign with fire placements. And that Queen of Wands was messing around with your twin and the cancer. And the Queen of Wands is saying you called the cops. But it was really... It's like the Queen of Wands lover, other lover, other than your twin, could have saw something. And just went to the Queen of Wands house. Because it's like this energy knew the Queen of Wands was cheating. Or had somebody at their house or something. And collective, your twin was scared. The police showed up at that Queen of Wands house. Or the Queen of Wands, one of the Queen of Wands parents could be a cancer. Or both of the Queen of Wands parents are cancers. Or well, one of the Queen of Wands lover is the cancer. And somebody showed up at that Queen of Wands house. And your twin was there. Collector, for some of you guys, that Queen of Wands don't know if your twin told you yet. That Queen of Wands don't know, but that Queen of Wands starting war with you. Because that Queen of Wands was dating your twin. And collective, y'all don't know. Y'all was either cheating too, because your twin was cheating on you. But you probably didn't know your twin was cheating on you, that queen of wands. And y'all could have had y'all another lover too. Or collective, while you was at home waiting for your twin, your twin was with the queen of wands. And something happened. Well, collective, your twin got kissed by that queen of wands. Um. Collective, if that Queen of Wands telling you that your twin, she was sleeping with your twin, that Queen of Wands lying because your twin restricted themselves from that Queen of Wands. 
or the reason why your twin is in jail is because of that queen of wands or they was at the queen of wands house that queen of wands could run a trap house or this is going down today but y'all twin might be at that queen of wands house when the police show up or y'all twin gonna be at that queen of wands house when the twin when when this when this queen of wands other lover come to the queen of wands house and collected for some of you guys this chariot gonna say to the queen of wands who is that and collective the queen of wands gonna say oh that's my man collective your twin gonna say no i'm not <laughs> Your twin not going to claim that queen of wands. Or collective, your father was married to your mother. Or your father got your mother pregnant in the past. Or you were six years old. And your father was sleeping with that queen of wands. And he wouldn't claim that queen of wands. Somebody out here ain't claiming that queen of wands. And that's why that queen of wands is trying to come, come for you. Or wanted you dead. Because somebody wouldn't claim that queen of wands. So that queen of wands is somebody your father was messing around with. Your mother was messing around with. Your twin was messing around with. And that queen of wands coming for you. Because somebody wouldn't claim that queen of wands. So collective, the queen of wands could be thinking that your twin is her twin. And the queen of wands don't know she the other woman. Well, collective, your twin only one was using this Queen of Wands to get spell work done. The police gonna ask the Queen of Wands, who is he, or who who is that, or this chariot, or this Cancer gonna ask the Queen of Wands, who is that, and the Queen of Wands gonna say, oh, that's my man, or that's my woman, and y'all twin gonna say, no, I am not, no, I'm not, <laughs> and that Queen of Wands gonna be pissed. And collective, that Queen of Wands trying to get you. Because somebody want to claim that Queen of Wands. Or collective, your mother could have confronted that Queen of Wands. Your mother could be a cancer. And collective, it was your father, your mother, and that Queen of Wands in the past. When your mother asked the Queen of Wands, and hey, who are you? The Queen of Wands was like, oh, I'm the girlfriend. Collective, your father said, no, you ain't, <laughs> or something. And Collective, that Queen of Wands, instead of trying to fight your mother or fight your father, that Queen of Wands, probably when you got older, that Queen of Wands was trying to do something to you. Or that Queen of Wands did a death ritual on you since you were six. Because it's something you, your mother and father could have confronted that Queen of Wands when you were six years old or something. Or when your mother was pregnant with you. That Queen of Wands did something. Because somebody wanted to claim that Queen of Wands. So, collective, you have a twin flame connection or your mother and father were twins. So, y'all could be a love child. Or your mother and father was married or they was twins. And that Queen of Wands don't like you or they're coming for you. Well, y'all twin could be a fire sign. A Leo like the Queen of Wands. Or the, or the Queen of Wands is a Leo, but your twin could be uh, Aries or Sagittarius. And y'all twin restricted, restricted themselves from that Queen of Wands. Or somebody wouldn't claim that Queen of Wands. Collective, your mother could have ruined the Queen of Wands' birthday in the past. Or the Queen of Wands found out about you on her birthday. Your mother, it's like that. You were six years old when the Queen of Wands found out about you. And maybe your mother... Or something like that. Or something like that going on. But somebody traveled to that Queen of Wands in the past. Y'all mother could be a cancer. Or somebody traveling to that Queen of Wands today. 
and it could be the police and collective y'all twin might be there or this happened in the past well somebody don't want to give their name and their birthday to the police collective your twin probably don't want to tell the police who they are and they at that queen of wine's house or something like that Collective, if you guys are, like, well-known in the community or something, your twin messing around with that Queen of Wands or your twin and that Queen of Wands energy, and your, your twin do not want to tell the police who they are. Because, Collective, you might find out your twin know, know that Queen of Wands. So, your twin is either not claiming the Queen of Wands or the chariot, the police is asking your twin, I need your name and your birthday. And your twin is like, mm -mm, you ain't getting my name and my birthday or something like that. So somebody don't want to give up their identity because they're going to be exposed. <clears throat> Collective, your twin is not telling the police who they are <laughs> because you going to find out that they was with that queen of wands or they know that queen of wands. Or collective that Queen of Wands could be a known practitioner in your town or something. And you didn't know your twin be going to this practitioner house, or you didn't know your twin was messing around with this Queen of Wands. And somebody is asking your twin or saying to the Queen of Wands, who is that? Or your twin had to go hide somewhere. Your twin could have been hiding when the police got to the Queen of Wands house. <laughs> so, collective, for some of you guys, your twin could have been with the Queen of Wands when something happened, but your twin could have went and hid behind a door. So, it's like the police didn't know that your twin was at the Queen of Wands house when the Queen of Wands got arrested. Collective... Something could have got stolen out of the Queen of Wands house or your twin stole something and the Queen of Wands want to offend you because something got stolen or something. Or collective, this is what's going to happen today. And collective, um, yeah. Collective, for some of you guys, you're, in a, you're picking up on something intuitively that didn't even happen yet. So, it's like collective, um, say like the Queen of Wands go to jail today, and it's like the king, your twin hide behind the door. So, the cops come arrest the Queen of Wands, but they don't know your twin in the house. Something going to get missing out of that Queen of Wands house, and when that Queen of Wands get out of jail... The Queen of Wands with their crazy self might think that you stole something or you and your twin set her up. And that Queen of Wands is going to try to do a death ritual on you or something like that. And Collective, you didn't even know what was going on. Or well, that Queen of Wands could be in jail and trying to get somebody on the outside to do harm to you. Or something like that. Or well, that Queen of Wands could be trying to get you hurt because the Queen of Wands don't want you to know something. So that Queen of Wands could be trying to shut you up or get you hurt. Because something embarrassing happened to that Queen of Wands. And that Queen of Wands don't want you to know. Or the Queen of Wands is trying to get your twin hurt so your twin won't tell you. Because that Queen of Wands was with, your twin was with that Queen of Wands when something happened. And the Queen of Wands trying to get you hurt or shut you up or try to get your twin hurt. So they can't say nothing to you or something. Or collective, that Queen of Wands is somebody from your father's past or somebody from your mother's past. Or something like that. When you was a child, y'all could have been six years old. Or your mother could have been six months pregnant or something. What's going on with the Six of Cups with the Three of Wands? Collective, for some of y'all, when you were six, that queen, your father was messing around with that Queen of Wands, and that Queen of Wands threatened you or threatened your mother. 
And the, your father could have been outside waiting for that Queen of Wands. Because that Queen of Wands could have said something about hurting you. Collective, your father could have been a single father. And that Queen of Wands threatened you. And your father was waiting for that Queen of Wands to make good on her promise. Or something. Your father could have said, yeah, and where you at? Or something. Or something like that. Or, collective, your father was thinking that that Queen of Wands wanted to do something physical. And your father... Your father didn't know that that Queen of Wands do dark magic. So instead of that Queen of Wands like fighting your father physically or doing a shootout, that Queen of Wands went and put you or your father in a jar or something, or did something with some graveyard dirt or something, or something like that. Or well, your twin is going to court with that Queen of Wands today. And Collective, you probably don't know. <laughs> your twin probably got a court date with that Queen of Wands. What's going on with the Six of Cups and um, the Three of Wands? Or well, Collective, your twin don't want to tell you they're a Leo because of the Queen of, the queen of Wands or something like that. So y'all twin could be a Leo, but they don't want to tell you. Or the Queen of Wands a Leo, and they saying they're Aries, but they're Leo. In the past, y'all father or your mother or your own twin, your own spouse or your own lover rejected you for that Queen of Wands. Or that Queen of Wands got rejected because of you. What's going on with the chariot and the two of cups? Yeah, losing sleep, yeah. Worry, replaying events, thinking about you, yeah. Collective, it's some people that know something you don't. It's your twin in a cop, or it's your twin in a cancer. Or it's your twin in a queen of wands parents. Somebody knows something that you don't, and they're losing sleep. So, collective, say like the chariot is the Queen of Wands' parents. The Queen of Wands' parents know that Queen of Wands trying to get you hurt about something they did. Or the Queen of Wands' parents did something, and the Queen of Wands was like, don't worry about it, I'll blame it on the collective. Or something like that. That Queen of Wands could be trying to set you up for her parents or his parents or something. That Queen of Wands parents did something. <laughs> or the Queen of Wands lover, other lover did something. Or something. Worry, we playing events thinking about you. Mm. So, collective, I don't know. I don't know. Collective, y'all could be married. Or collective, um, your twin could have got caught at the Queen of Wands house. The Queen of Wands could be threatening you. It's like, collective, your twin could have told this cop, don't tell, don't tell the collective or don't tell my twin. So, collective, it's like this cop. Collective, for some of y'all, it's a cop that might do something. Because this cop could have did your twin a favor off the books. But it's like this cop is saying, I should have did what was right. And I should have put everything in the documents. Or I should have did this or I should have did that. So collective, it could be a cop that's worried about your safety. Or this cop could be saying to your twin, did you tell the collective what's going on? And your twin like, no, I ain't tell her. And the Queen of Wands sitting up there threatening you or something. So somebody's losing sleep. They worry. They're thinking about you. Because y'all crazy twin or y'all father didn't want you to know something. Or collective, your father didn't want your mother to know something is putting you in danger. 
Or something. Or collective, somebody gonna suggest to your twin that they tell you something. So y'all husband or wife could have been trying to save y'all marriage and they didn't want you to know that it was cheating on you. But it's like somebody either gonna have to save a life or save a marriage. Something somebody got a choice to make because somebody didn't want you to know something. And this is either a cancer that's telling your twin to tell you something. Well, it's a cop or something. Because of that queen of wands. What's going on with, um, the queen of wands and, uh, yeah, feeling. Yeah. So, collective, the queen of wands got feelings for your father or feelings for your twin. And that queen of wands could be GPS tracking you and they ain't supposed to. Or your twin had sex with that queen of wands. That, uh, them flowers. Collective, for some of you guys, your twin wasn't having sex with you because they was having sex with that queen of wands. And y'all twin might have sex with y'all today. And that queen of wands either in jail or gonna hit the roof. Or that's why that queen of wands gonna end up in jail. Because in the past, y'all could have got rejected because of that queen of wands. But it's like today, it's like your twin might have sex with you and not that queen of wands. That queen of wands might end up in jail. Well, y'all twin gonna have to call the cops on that Queen of Wands. Because that Queen of Wands could be GPS tracking you or your twin. And it's like your twin wanna have sex with you. They don't want that karmic. <laughs> or collective, you married. And your um spouse was living with the karmic. And maybe your spouse wanna come back home. <laughs> Somebody gonna have to call the cops on that Queen of Wands. <laughs> or your twin and that the Queen of Wands going through a breakup. And maybe your twin gonna have to call the cops to like go back to the Queen of Wands house and get their stuff or something. Cause that Queen of Wands got feelings for somebody. <laughs> or collective, that Queen of Wands gonna find out that you was having sex with your twin. Or instead of your twin having sex with you, they was having sex with this karmic, that queen of wands. Them feelings. For some of y'all, y'all twin rejected y'all because they had the karmic had feelings for your twin or your twin had feelings for this karmic. Or in the past, or somebody from your past gonna reject this queen of wands because they got feelings with, for you or want to have sex with you or something. Lord have mercy. This Queen of Wands might go to jail on their birthday or something. Well, this happened in the past. Something bad happened to this Queen of Wands on their birthday. Or something. What's going on with, with rejected? Show more gratitude. Yeah, collective. Um, Y'all angels and ancestors is doing something behind the scenes. To like protect you, make sure you you're protected and you get karmic justice, or your twin is doing something behind the scenes. So show more gratitude. Or collective, that Queen of Wands was trying to make your twin respect them. Or that Queen of Wands was trying to make you respect them because your twin. Was sleeping with that queen of wands or your twin chose the queen of wands over you and that queen of wands was like oh you show me respect because your twin chose me over you or your twin was sleeping with me and not with you or something that queen of wands doing ego tripping that queen of wands or collective somebody um that queen of wands felt disrespected because your twin rejected them or your father rejected them and that queen of wands um 
felt disrespected. And that Queen of Wands was like, y'all gonna learn some manners or um <laughs> something. That Queen of Wands wanted to make your twin cry or make your father cry and probably wanted you hurt. What's going on with losing sleep? Yeah, Halloween. Something significant about this holiday. So this is Halloween in the past or Halloween coming up. Collective, your twin could have um spent like collective uh Your twin could have kids by that Queen of Wands. And maybe your twin went trick-or-treating with the Queen of Wands last year with the kids. Or the Queen of Wands is trying to make your twin go trick-or-treating with them with the kids and not be with you on Halloween this year. Or it happened in the past. Or that queen went to jail last year around Halloween. Or got caught cheating with your twin in the past on Halloween. Or, collective, if your twin got kissed by that Queen of Wands, your twin was with the Queen of Wands and maybe the kids or the child, and your twin and the Queen of Wands got into a fight or something last year around this time. Or something. So y'all twin can have kids by that Queen of Wands. What's going on with feelings? Yeah, access to dying blocking communication. Yeah, somebody might block that Queen of Wands today. Or somebody blocked that Queen of Wands in the past. That Queen of Wands birthday could be on Halloween. What's Halloween? Is that Libra season? This fire sign could have been saying they're a Libra. <laughs> but collective, you could be the Libra. <laughs> or this is per or the Queen of Wands is a Libra and they were saying they're a fire sign or something. So October 31st. Is that Libra or Scorpio season? I can't remember at this point. Somebody GPS tracking somebody illegally. Or that Queen of Wands on on house arrest or something. So it could be it could be the police tracking the, the Queen of Wands because that Queen of Wands on some type of parole, house arrest, whatever this is. Or this Queen of Wands was GPS tracking your twin or you. And that Queen of Wands access is going to get denied. So that Queen of Wands not going to be able to GPS track somebody today. Or that Queen of Wands going to jail. Or that Queen of Wands go, um, is going to violate like a restraining order or their probation or something like that. That Queen of Wands access is going to get denied, block of communication. Or when somebody realized that the Queen of Wands is tracking them. Collective, that Queen of Wands could have been tracking your twin. Collective, the Queen of Wands' other lover or one of the Queen of Wands' parents is a Cancer. The Queen of Wands could have been telling this Cancer... That they're going to do harm to your twin. Collective. In the past or today. That queen of wands might invite your twin over. And this cancer energy. Is going to go in the queen of wands energy. And say don't do it. Don't do that. And collective. Your twin going to realize that the queen of wands. Was trying to put them in danger. And then block the queen of wands. So it could be an earth angel. That might also save your twin. From that queen of wands. And collective, you don't even know what's going on. 
Or it's the police that's going to save your twin from that Queen of Wands. So this cancer or this cherry could be the police. This could be divine timing. Or it's like... Maybe the Queen of Wands is not supposed to have visitors. And this Queen of Wands is going to invite your twin over or something. And the police going to show up at the Queen of Wands house or something. But that Queen of Wands wanted to do harm to y'all twin or wanted to have sex with y'all twin or something. For some of y'all, when y'all twin realized the Queen of Wands on parole or probation, y'all twin going to block that Queen of Wands. Yeah, or that queen wants on house arrest or something. <laughs> Y'all two ain't gonna be embarrassed. So y'all twin could be the queen of wands ex. Y'all twin could have kids by that queen of wands, and the queen of wands could have told y'all twin to come over or see the kids or something. And that Queen of Wands want to do harm to y'all twin. Or that Queen of Wands want to have sex with your twin or something like that. This happened last year or is going on today. Collective, your twin and that Queen of Wands might get to might get into an argument about Halloween. That Queen of Wands, the Queen of Wands might say, You come and trick-or-treating with me and the kids this year? And y'all twin might say no. Or something. Cause that queen wants got feelings for somebody or something like that. Collective, y'all could be a Leo too. I'm picking up Scorpio, Cancer, Leo, Libra. Collective, y'all twin could be trying to restrict themselves from the Queen of Wands. So, Collective, for some of you guys, the Queen of Wands is looking for you because your twin won't answer the phone. So, if y'all twin was sneaking around with the Queen of Wands and y'all twin could be trying to pull back their energy, the Queen of Wands could be threatening your twin saying, I'm a tell. So, collective, for some of y'all, your twin is having sex or was having sex with the Queen of Wands to keep the Queen of Wands from telling on them or something. Well, this is what this woman was doing to your father when you were six or your mother was six months pregnant. Well, collective, y'all six months pregnant or something. Or collective, <laughs> the Queen of Wands might say to your father or say to your twin, because the your twin might say, Oh, I didn't have sex with the collective, I just hugged the collective. And the Queen of Wands gonna say, Yeah, right. Why is the collective six months pregnant then? <laughs> <coughs> so, collective, your father was trying to pull a fast one on that Queen of Wands. Or your twin was trying to pull a fast one on that Queen of Wands. And collective, you didn't know that your twin told the Queen of Wands this lame story. <laughs> your twin was like, I didn't I didn't touch her. I only kissed her. I hugged her. And collective, you six months pregnant. <laughs> oh my God. Collective, for some of you guys. This cancer energy is um, your twin's family member or your twin's uh, cousin or something. And your twin could be going to the Queen of Wands house with the with the chariot. So that's the police to like break up. The police, the, your, the, your twin might call the police so they can go get their stuff or clothes or whatever this is from the Queen of Wands house. Or it's like collective. When your twin go to the Queen of Wands house, they go with somebody else. Because they don't like being around this uh, karmic by themselves. Collective, whoever this cancer is, this person want to tell you.
So the cancer energy could be your twin mother, father, cousin, homeboy. This chariot want to tell you what's going on so bad. And your twin, it's something that your twin should tell you or something. Collective, for some of y'all, this chariot energy might tell you on Halloween. Or something. So this cancer energy could be your twin's mother, father, or your, your twin's family member or something. But your twin go to the, the Queen of Wands house with the chariot. Or something like that. Or collective, if this cancer energy is like your aunt, your uncle, your grandmother, your aunt, your uncle, or your grandmother know something that your father didn't want you to know. So collective, something could have been going on when you was a child between your father and his third party and this woman used to threaten you. It's like collective, you don't know, but your uncle, your aunt, your grandmother know or something like that. something or something tell me more about rejecting and gratitude yeah you are currently being guided yep So, collective, you're being guided to do something, to say something, to express your feelings. Because somebody knows something that you don't know. So, collective, say like you married to your twin. And the chariot energy is like your twin's cousin. And your twin got a court date today with that queen of wands. And collective, you might post something on social media or you might call the chariot. And you going to be crying. you like, I don't know what's wrong with me. I just keep crying. I keep crying. Collective, the chariot want to tell you because you're picking up something intuitively. Because your twin is going through something with that queen of wands. So, Collective, you're being guided to cry, say something, express your feelings. Because somebody knows something that you don't or something like that. So, collective, you're currently being guided. Or, collective, for some of you guys, the Queen of Wands threatened you. And somebody might realize that the Queen of Wands is making good on their threats. The Queen of Wands could be attacking you psychically. And, collective, you could be going crazy or losing your mind. And somebody's aware that that Queen of Wands do dark magic. Because you could be losing your mind or something. It's something that Queen of Wands doing and that your twin didn't want you to know. Or your father didn't want you to know or something. But y'all currently being guided. Um, for some of y'all, I don't know what y'all going through. But y'all supposed to be on jury duty right now. Y'all supposed to be doing jury duty. Collective, y'all could have been like going through some type of depression. Y'all could be a widow or a widower. But jury duty is going to motivate you or give you another lease at life. Or something. Jury duty is going to make you feel good about yourself. It's going to be revamp you. Something y'all doing. It could be jury duty. Because y'all was about to lose y'all mind or something like that. Or y'all was suffering depression or something. Yeah, something could be going on jury duty. So y'all being called for jury duty. Or collective. You might have to express to someone. Do not kick me off this panel because... 
I realized when I started jury duty, I'm more happier. When Before I got called in for jury duty, I was depressed and I was thinking about harming myself. So don't disqualify me because I'm an earth angel. I realized this is what I need to be doing right now in my life to keep me sane, to keep me feeling important, to keep me motivated in life. So y'all might have to tell somebody something personal or something like that. So it's like y'all doing jury duty or something. It could be um, you're being guided to do something. Because y'all could be in a deep depression or y'all retired or something. Y'all going crazy or something like that. So somebody could be trying to get you kicked off jury duty or something. And you like, no, I need to do this. And if you don't want me at this particular court, bring put me somewhere else. So y'all could be telling somebody, I feel a better. I feel alive. I'm happy. Since I started doing jury duty or something. Somebody could be trying to get y'all kicked off from jury duty. And it's like this is giving you something to do. Or something like that. So something like that. Something is like almost life or death to a certain extent. Or collective. You might have to be honest with somebody and tell somebody that you have been uh, not. You have been thinking bad thoughts or like suicidal thoughts. Just be honest with somebody about something. Or tell somebody you you was going you was depressed or something like that. Collector, for some of y'all, y'all need to tell y'all twin this or tell your father. Because somebody going to realize that Queen of Wands wasn't playing when they said they was going to put you under a spell. And y'all father or that queen or y'all twin going to stay away from that Queen of Wands. So y'all father or your twin thought the Queen of Wands was playing when they said they do dark magic or something. And Collector, you talking about out the blue, you thinking suicidal thoughts and... Something collective, tell somebody something or speak your truth because your twin or your father knows something. Or somebody's in the process of trying to make good on their threats. And it's that Queen of Wands. Or that Queen of Wands gonna get arrested or something like that. Because they breaking rules or something. Clarify access the nine these feelings. Someone needs to visit a therapist. Yeah, that queen of wands. Or y'all twin or something. Collective, for some of you guys, that queen of wands is in your energy and they're not supposed to be. That queen of wands probably live in a different country, a different state, a different town. And collective, that queen of wands is in y'all energy. The Queen of Wands probably have to get on an airplane to travel towards you. <laughs> that Queen of Wands could be in y'all energy. And this Queen of Wands need to go see a therapist or y'all twin do or y'all father do. Or collective because of the Queen of Wands, you probably need to go see a therapist because of the Queen of Wands. And something your father or your twin didn't want you to know. So something is like a little bit casualties of war or collective. You could have got caught up in something and you was innocent or this happened when you were younger or something and it had nothing to do with you or somebody taking their anger out on you or collective. The queen of wands parents did something to them. It wasn't you, but because you're the third part, because you're the queen of wands competitor and love the queen of wands want to take their anger out on you. So, if somebody called child services or called, called the cops on the Queen of Wands, it was the Queen of Wands' other lover, other than your twin, or the Queen of Wands' parents or something did it. And the Queen of Wands want to blame it on you because you were their competitor or something. Or the Queen of Wands was messing around with your lover or messing around with your father or something. Or collective, the Queen of Wands, if the Queen of Wands used to mess around with your father, somebody could have called child services on the Queen of Wands, or somebody called child services on the Queen of Wands child. And collective, the Queen of Wands is telling people it was you. That's because the Queen of Wands used to date your father or something. 
And the Queen of Wands trying to tell their child that you did it. Or something. So somebody called the cops or called child services on that Queen of Wands. And the Queen of Wands, or on the Queen of Wands child or something. So collective, you, if, if the Queen of Wands used to date your father, the Queen of Wands daughter or the Queen of Wands son could be your age. And the Queen of Wands it could be trying to get their daughter or their son to like fight you. But it's something about how it's something that happened in the past. Because the Queen of Wands used to date your father and your father rejected her. So she's telling her kids that you the one who called DCF on them or something. Because you could be the Queen of Wands kids age or something. Something that Queen of Wands doing. For some of y'all, y'all don't even know that Queen of Wands. Y'all don't know that Queen of Wands. Y'all probably know the Queen of Wands child, but y'all don't know the Queen of Wands. That Queen of Wands could be somebody's mother that used to date your father or something like that. Or the Queen of Wands don't like your mother. And she taking her anger out on you or want her kids or child to like beat you up or... um. Do something. Or fight you. Or well, that Queen Wands lying on you. For some of y'all, I heard the Queen of Wands called child services or called the cops on their own child. And the Queen of Wands told their child that you did it. Because she used to date your father or something. <laughs> Uh, something like that. Somebody mother doing something to y'all. Or something that Queen of Wands. Your father ex or something. Or oh, that Queen of Wands could be a man. And his feminine energy. But I'm going to end it. So collective, enjoy your day. And um, let me see why somebody mad at y'all. Alright, sir. Why somebody mad at the collective today? For in this energy. You got options. So this could be also include the Queen of Wands. So collective, somebody, especially the Queen of Wands, you got options and you're shaped like a bag of potatoes. Collective, for some of you guys, I heard the Queen of Wands used to date your father. Collective, the Queen of Wands did something to you because their spell work is not working. Collective, um, maybe your father messed up the Queen of Wands love life. Or your father, you probably used to string the Queen of Wands along. So it's like the Queen of Wands wanted to mess up your love life. So I heard the Queen of Wands took matters into their own hands. So collective, your father could have did something to the Queen of Wands in the past. And the Queen of Wands told your father, the same way you did me, somebody going to do it to your daughter. And collective, your mother could have been six months pregnant when the Queen of Wands said it, or you were six years old. And collective, nature did not offend you, the Queen of Wands did. So the Queen of Wands could have been doing something to you and made your love life, or tried to make your love life like a living hell, because it's something your father did to her. But collective, you still got options. And that Queen of Wands pissed off. <coughs> <coughs> Or collective, the Queen of Wands wants you to pay because of something your twin did to her. So, collective, I'm hearing that Queen of Wands know she can't beat your twin or fight your twin, so she's taking her anger out on you. Because y'all, you could be a female that, and your twin a man. Or collective, your twin uh, could have physically assaulted the Queen of Wands, but didn't physically assault you. Or something. And it's like, you got options. That Queen of Wands like, how you do that? Or something. <laughs> Collective, y'all twin could be abusive or something. But it's like, your twin don't hit on you, but they hit on that Queen of Wands. Well, Collective, you could have another lover other than your twin. 
And the Queen of Wands could have been trying to get your twin to hurt you. Like, you gonna let the collective cheat on you? That Queen of Wands could have been trying to get your twin to hurt you because you got another lover. So, collective, for some of you guys, if you're in separation from your twin, express your feelings because that Queen of Wands could be trying to get your twin to jump on you. And collective, you might have to say to your twin, leave me alone because I know you've been cheating on me. I'm tired of you cheating on me. I'm going to have me a lover because I know you got a lover. Or I have a right to have a lover because you won't be my lover. So collective, some of y'all, y'all might have to rebuke your twin. Because that queen of wands could be saying something to y'all twin to get y'all twin to jump on y'all. That Queen of Wands could be saying, oh, the collective shouldn't be cheating on you. The collective shouldn't have no other body, nobody other than you. Because when I was dating my twin, and no matter who my twin messed around with, I never messed around on my twin. Something this Queen of Wands telling y'all twin. It's because that Queen of Wands mad you got options. That Queen of Wands saying something to y'all twin. So, collective, if y'all got to express yourself to your twin, do it. Because that this karma trying to get your twin to jump on you. Because you could have another lover. So, collective, maybe your twin don't want to claim you. And you like, okay, fine. You don't want to claim me? I'm going to get me another lover. I'm not going to sit on, I'm not going to sit around and wait on you. While you sleeping with everybody. And it's like collective. Be careful because this karmic doing something. And this, um, this karmic or this queen of wands. Somebody mad at you because they're shit like a bag of potatoes. Yeah. Collective for some of you guys. You have options because you could be more uh, attractive than that queen of wands. So that's another reason why the queen of wands want to offend you. Because you could be more physically attractive. Yeah. Um, I'm also picking up collective. Um, the karmic and your twin could be a Leo. And that's another way that the karmic trying to like get your twin to offend you. Because they both Leo's. And that, the karma could be saying, I'm a Leo like you, or we get along more than a collective. You should just be with me or choose me, because we we both Leos. I understand you better than a collective. So, collective, y'all probably not a Leo, but this karmic is. The Queen of Wands is. Yeah, that's why somebody mad at you, because they're shaped like a bag of potatoes, and you got options. Or this somebody was trying to fix your love life to where you wouldn't have options and you still you still do. So somebody also mad because they're realizing their spell work is not working because you got options. Whether it's in work, love, or life or legalities. Collective for some of y'all, this is a court case. And y'all could be doing jury duty. And y'all should advocate for yourself. So collective, if possible. I heard somebody might have to say, if y'all don't want me at this particular building or or um, handling this particular case, then put me somewhere else. So, collective, if you express your feelings, somebody might reason with you if it's possible. Because somebody don't want you somewhere. That Queen of Wands could be trying to get you kicked off jury duty. And somebody don't want you somewhere. But I'm pretty sure it's other cases and trials and stuff going on, collective. You could probably get put somewhere else or get put back on like a list or something. Or something like that. So, this is Love Queen Tarot. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and or share. And collective, enjoy your day and thanks.